This is Gadget Stop 321 and in today's video I'm going to be comparing two pocket fountain pen extremes, the Caveco Lilliput and the Twisby Diamond Mini. Now the first and most obvious difference is the difference in size and it may not be apparent at first that the Diamond Mini is even a pocket pen until you look at it up next to an actual full-size pen like the Lamy Studio and then it becomes more apparent that it is a significantly smaller pen. Now this is the largest pocket pen in my collection and this is the smallest pocket pen in my collection. Another difference between the two is that the Caveco Lilliput is clipless and the Diamond Mini, the Twisby Diamond Mini, has a clip and as a result I carry the Caveco in my pants pocket, um, I would recommend getting the Caveco, uh, there's a leather sleeve that they make that's the perfect size for the Lilliput. You can get a one pin or a two pin leather pin sleeve and it's pretty affordable. I believe they're in the $20 range, maybe a little bit less or a little bit more depending on whether you get the one or two pin pin sleeve. Um, but since the Twisby Diamond Mini has a clip, it's it's more of a front sharp pocket uh, pocket pen. And since I don't really wear shirts that have front pockets, since I wear a lanyard for school with my identification on it, I usually just carry this around clipped on my lanyard. Another difference between the two is Actually, this is more of a similarity. Both pins have screw caps that also screw to post. Now, this is a pretty small pin, and if you try to use it unposted, um, I have small hands, and it's not comfortable to use. So, the cap screws on the back and makes a nice size pin. The diameter of this pin is similar to a pencil, and that's what I would compare it to. It's about like using a pencil. The section is fairly small, but it's nicely shaped. Um, it, since it's so small, you have to grip pretty close to the front. I generally grip back behind the threads, but either way is fairly comfortable. Not a, not a bad pen. Um, the Twisby also has a screw cap and screws to post. Now the full size dime, Twisby Diamond does not have the screws on back to post it. So that was one of the things that uh, convinced me to get the Mini is that I like to use my pins posted. And when this one's, this pin is posted, you don't even realize that it's a pocket pen or a smaller than normal pen. When you compare it to the Lamy Studio, it makes a nice full-size pen. Uh, the grip section is a nice diameter. It's not any smaller than normal. It's just a good comfortable pen. Um, now, people have commented about uh, it being a hassle to uh, unscrew the cap, screw it on the back, unscrew it from the back, screw it back on. So, you know, there are downsides uh, to having to screw the cap onto the back. You know, people have their personal preferences. Um, let's see. The filling mechanism for the Twisby is, it's a, a piston filler and it holds a nice amount of ink. That's one of the main reasons this isn't really a pants pocket pen. Uh, if you accidentally turn this piston knob you could you know have a big inky mess. Um, the Lilliput is since it's such a small pen it will only accommodate small international cartridges. Uh, even the small uh, Caveco um, converters are too small for this pen, but I just save my old cartridges and 
refill them with a syringe so that's not a big issue the reason you buy a tiny pin like this is because you need a tiny pin for some reason um let's see the pin loops if you're wanting to use this um, with a journal or something that and you want to use it in a pin loop i recommend um, the pin loop for the traveler's notebook is a really nice fit not super tight but tight enough that it's not going to come loose and you know the passport size paired up with a, a tiny pin like this is just I think a really nice pairing another nice pairing is a Leuchtturm journal this is one of the pocket size journals and the adhesive this is a little bit tighter fit but these Leuchtturm um, adhesive pin loops sometimes need to be stretched out but that's that makes a nice fit and in a black journal with a, a colored pin loop and this black pin that's a nice looking pair and that's in there super snug it's not going anywhere um, the Twisby with it being a larger diameter pin I found that it works nice in the uh, Hobonichi Techo with the Hobonichi cover those are large pin loops and with it being a larger pin it fits in there nicely and oh I didn't put it in both of them let's see it fits through you can either use two pins or use a single both pin loops in a single pin and that holds your cover close so I always like that pair and the let's see if you can see this this is a arc notebook and the leather arc notebooks have a large leather pin loop with an elastic section and it's a larger pin loop but it fits let me show you how it it's a perfect fit makes a nice combination all right let's see now both of these pins come in a variety of nib sizes on uh, really both of these I think you can get um, stub, stub nibs all the way down to extra fine now the Twisby let's see if you can see that here the Twisby is made in Taiwan and I'd always heard that um, pins from the Asian markets tend to have finer nibs than the Western nibs um, so I instead of getting an extra fine I got a fine and when it came in it wasn't you know super fine let me show you an example let me zoom in here a little bit and focus oh. well there that's a little bit better okay now this is the fine nib and it's pretty fine I'm trying to write oh my goodness I'm looking through the viewfinder let me put on my glasses and look at the actual paper okay but it's not excessively fine this is yeah this is just a fine nib and it's the mini and I was a little bit disappointed when I first got it I thought it was going to be finer than this but it has turned out to be one of my favorite pens I'm I'm glad it's not any more fine than this my pilot Prera fine writes like a needle um, so I've got a pen that writes super fine I've got this one with a fine nib now my um, 
Kveco is made in Germany. It has an extra fine nib. Let's see how it compares to the Twisby. They're about the same. Extra fine. And so, really, I, I can't really tell much of a difference between those two. So the the European Extra Fine is more like the Twisby Mini Fine. And what I've seen on uh, comparisons that I've looked at on the internet, um, the Twisby Mini in, with the fine nib and the extra fine, there's not much of a difference between the two. Now, these are both pocket pens, but when the work day is over, I uh, keep both of my pens in my rickshaw pen sleeve in my purse. And I've been happy with that. I usually keep two pens inked up at a time. And I'm happy with this setup. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.